mediated design pattern mediated design pattern is used to reduce the communication complexity between multiple objects and classes and that is the basic theme behind this mediated design pattern so here what will happen this pattern provides a mediator class which normally handles all the communications between different classes and supports easy maintenance of the code by loose coupling and this mediated design pattern is falling under the behavioral design pattern category so let us go for one practical example to have the implementation of this concept and for the better understanding we will be using the java code and also we will be drawing the uml class diagrams for the better understanding of the implementation so here is the demonstration for you we are demonstrating mediator pattern by one example of a chat room where multiple users can send message to the chat room and it is the responsibility of the chat room to show the message to all the users and we have created two classes one is the chat room another one is the user and user objects will use chat room method to share their messages mediator pattern demo is our demo class and will use user objects to show the communication between them so this is our implementation of this uh, mediator design pattern so let us go through some certain number of steps so step one create mediator class that is our chatroom.java so step one create mediator class that is chatroom.java so here we are having this chatroom.java this is a public class chatroom which is having one public static remember this one it is a static method void show message which takes the user and the string message as input parameters and then system.out.println where uh, having this date is getting printed then username is getting printed and the message is also getting printed so in case of chatroom class we are having only one static void show message method which takes the user object as input argument another one is the string a message as input parameter so now we are having this system.out.println date is getting printed user get name is getting printed and the respective uh, message is getting printed okay now what about the user so this is our user we are having so user is having one name so there is one instance variable we are having string name so get name will return this name so get name return string set name will take one string as input argument which will be assigned to this name instance variable and we are having this user that is our constructor which will put this value input argument name to this particular this dot name so input parameter name will be assigned to this this dot name so we are having this send message so this is one of the methods in this user class and which takes a string message as input argument so now we are having this chatroom dot show message this comma message so chatroom dot show message you can easily find that chatroom dot show message will take one user and this message as input arguments so now here we are having this uh, this and the message will be passed to this chatroom.show message. So now after discussing this chatroom, you can easily see that what is the code in chatroom. There is a class, user is also another class, you can observe its code. And now we are going for our demo class that is mediator pattern demo. So here you see we are creating one user robot, user object, another one is user john, there is a user object is equal to new robot and you are having this new user john. So using the constructor, we are initializing this respective user here. So the name is a instance variable and that is getting initialized with this name string, whatever we have passed. And now we are going for robot.send message, hi John and John.send message, that is a hello robot. So what will happen? We can come to this user, the send message function is there, which will be calling this chatroom.show message method. So now let me execute my code. You can easily see that this hi John and this hello robot. We pass these two arguments separately in two send message methods, robot.send message and John.send message. Robot and John are the user objects. So now you see this is the respective output we are getting. So date is getting printed and then we are having this name is getting printed and the message is getting printed as it is. So now let us go for the UML diagram. So this is our class diagram here. So here at first we are having this chat room. You can find that we are having this chat room. We are having this media. There is a user uh, class is also there having the get name, set name, 
constructor and the send message remember this show message is of the type static so static uh, public public static void show message which takes user object and the string as input argument string object as input argument and chat room was there that is the constructor here so now here this name is of the type private under the scope private and of the type our string class so get name set name user constructor and this send message and this is a mediator pattern demo which we executed and we got the record output so in this demonstration we have shown you that how to implement mediator design pattern using java code thanks for watching this video